Let's get started with installing Beaver Builder. So you can see that I have a base website. There's nothing in it. It's just a standard WordPress installation and there's no plugins or anything. So what I'm gonna do is log in. I'm already logged into the site. I go into my dashboard and then I'm gonna go into plugins and show you that there's nothing installed here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is click add new and install Beaver Builder. So you'll have to log into your account in Beaver Builder, or if you already have it installed, then great. So you can skip this step. But if not, then you should have a download of Beaver Builder and you can just add it. So I have the agency version. So the agency version is being installed here. So whenever I click install, uploading it, and then you can see that it's working down here. There's a percentage there that says it's 98%. And that goes over here and we can activate that. So Right now we're just going to install our plugins a couple other features that we're going to be using with beaver builder are some add-ons so one of those add-ons is going to be power pack we're going to add that here and these are all available to purchase um, if you do a search i'll provide links and all that stuff down below in the comments or description of this video so we'll activate that so we can activate both of these but it's going to require us to use a license and ask us to insert that license so what we'll do is activate this one as well. So you see that we're gonna to have to insert a license there where we're ready. And then let's install another one, which is Ultimate Beaver Builder or Ultimate Add-ons. And so we're gonna grab that one again, and then that's Ultimate Add-on. We're gonna click Install there. Then we'll click Activate. And then obviously we're gonna to have to put our license keys and all that stuff in there. And then we're gonna click on install again, click add here and then upload. So another one that we're gonna upload is gonna be the Beaver theme builder. So that's a nice one to have as well. Activate that one. And you don't have to have all these, but I do really like using the advanced features of any of these. So. The one that you do have to have is the Beaver Builder plugin for sure. And then uh, if you want to add functionality and more options, then you're gonna wanna get other add-ons for it. So Power Pack's a really good one and Ultimate Add-ons for Beaver Builder is another really good one. Those are the two that I basically use. Um, I really, really like them because those are the advanced features that uh, really enhance your site. So let me go ahead and add these keys and then we're gonna jump back on here. To add the keys to our licensing, to add the keys to any of our licensing, what we're gonna have to do, to add the keys to any of our licensing, what we're gonna have to do is go into settings and click on each individual one. So we have Power Pack, UABB, and Beaver Builder. The first one that we're gonna wanna activate is Beaver Builder because that's the core. So let's go in here, click on licenses, and then add your license key, click on save. And now you're going to see that your active or your license is active. You can always enter in a new license if you need to, but for the most part, if you have an active license, then uh, you're good to go. So then the next step would be UABB. So we'll add UABB and we'll copy and paste that license in there as well. So I click on activate license and that activation is going to say that uh, the license is good. So it is active and ready to go as well. And then we'll do power pack. So I'm gonna grab that license key really quick. I'm gonna paste this in here. I'm gonna click on save changes. And then once I click on save changes, then I can activate my license. I usually click on activate and then I'm gonna save it again just to make sure. So I wanna update my settings. And then now we're all set. So the first thing that I like doing is going into my plugins and make sure that everything's up to date. So you can see that we're a little bit behind as far as the different versions there. So we'll go in here to dashboard and click on updates. And then from our updates, we're just gonna select all and update. And then once that's loaded, then we should be ready to go. We wanna make sure that we have our theme all set. So in this tutorial, and for most of the websites that we build out, we're actually using um, Astra theme so that's one of the better ones that we like because it's super lightweight. I already have my child theme set up. So Aster is already updated. This is ready to go. I have my child theme that's ready to go. So now it's time to start building out. So you can see that everything's updated. 
we go in here and one thing that we will do is enhance the Astra site and we're going to um, add a plug in there that's Astra Pro. So Astra Pro is going to give us a little bit more as far as advanced, fe advanced features and make it a little bit easier for us whenever it comes to controlling our overall site and our theme. So um, there are a couple of things that you want to make sure that you pay attention to whenever it comes to Beaver Builder. So as much as on the front end as possible that we can build, but if we can control elements through WordPress and the customizer feature, then that's going to be uh, a really good option too. So let's go ahead and get started in the next video with building out. I'll see you in the next video.